Hey gang, it's Robert uh, from A&G Central Music and today I'm with one of our technicians from our repair shop, Paul. Um, and as the holidays are fast approaching, I want to talk to you about uh, something that we've been seeing more and more in our shop and just kind of give you, our customers, a warning about what's going on out there. We had a customer come in who's really proud about the great deal they got on a Paris-made Selmer Reference 54 tenor sax. It's the instrument that I'm holding in my hands. It's clearly marked Henry Selmer Paris on it, has the correct Reference 54 logo, even the proper model number on the back of the instrument, which would lead you to believe that this is a ten or $11,000 tenor saxophone. The problem is that although it says made in France all over it, this instrument was made in China and is a horrible copy of a really good saxophone. Um, if you're shopping for an instrument online this season, you can find some really good deals, but we strongly encourage you to be very cautious about what you see online. And your first clue might be that if you see an instrument that, you, that you've seen in other places for $10,000 that's being sold for less than $1,000, it's probably a good clue that you're not looking at the genuine article. Paul's going to go over a few things about this particular instrument and instruments like this that will help tip you off to the fact that you're buying an unauthorized, illegally produced knockoff of a quality instrument. All right. So when you're looking at these online, obviously, as Robert said, the price should be the first thing that sets you off. Uh, but one of the things you'll notice is while it does say Henry Selmer Paris, and it has the correct markings on both the front and the back, uh, these are laser etched on. Uh, the true Selmers are all wool stamped from the factory in Paris. So you'll see an indentation and you'll be able to feel that. Uh, a lot of times the keys actually don't match up. That's a little bit harder to tell. A lot of these instruments come trying to look aged or in exotic colors that the original isn't offered in. Another thing to note is that these are not parts supported. We can't get replacement parts for any of these instruments. So if something breaks like it did on this one, there's not much we can do about it. Um, and you might end up spending more on the repair than you spent on the horn itself. Yeah, I would uh, like to add in maybe with your help, there are certainly good quality instruments that are made offshore um, that will not give you any troubles if you purchase them. What are some of the things about saxophones of this type that make them so difficult to play? I noticed that there's some slop in those keys. Yeah. So pretty new. So it's it's brand new but the keys are sloppy, uh, key heights are all over the place. Um, it just doesn't feel quite right if you're if you're a real player. Um, not that those who buy them aren't real players but when you really get a feel for saxophones you'll just feel something's off. Uh, now the reason that happens is because a lot of times these are made uh, by just taking pictures of them and bringing them to the factory and then copying what you see there with equipment you already have. So a lot of these are actually being produced alongside instruments that are actually good quality and stuff. They're just trying to reuse that tooling to make one of these to try to entice you with the much shinier, much more prestigious brand. So uh, just a little public service announcement to you guys. Um, the internet's not a terrible place. Um, you can certainly find good quality horns there. We just really encourage you to be very careful about what you're buying if you're buying online um, and if you have questions of course we're always here uh, to answer them for you and to help you out um, and remember if it seems too good to be true it probably is okay gang so we've given you some tips on how to identify a copy from an original being the markings on the instrument or the obvious cost disparity between the genuine article and a copy, um, but maybe the safest way uh, to shop for an instrument is to start by looking at manufacturers' websites. They'll have all the products that they manufacture on their websites, and then if you find an instrument that you'd be interested in purchasing, they do list authorized dealers on those websites, so you can be sure that you're buying from a company that is authorized to sell the genuine articles. And that goes for most of the major brands. So I hope that you found this uh, video helpful and that it's good information for you in your search for your next instrument. And re remember, we're always uh, here for you to answer your questions and to help you find the perfect instrument for you or your student.